founded in 1849, we the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration are the first U.S.-founded Franciscan congregation and the first blessed with the privilege of perpetual adoration. In all of our ministry locations, we are united in mission, worship, and prayer. This unity is symbolized through our sacred chapels of Mary of the Angels, where Mass is celebrated and perpetual adoration, alive with continuous prayer. The chapels represent the fulfillment of a promise made in 1865 by an earlier leader, Mother Antonia Herb, placing a lard light on the altar. Since there was no sanctuary lamp available, Mother Antonia promised that if God would bless our community, we would establish perpetual adoration and build a chapel as beautiful as our means would allow. The chapels which comprise one unit took four years to build and were completed in 1906. A favorite stopping point for visitors to the La Crosse area, our chapels have received both local and national acclaim for their unusual architecture, unique features, and priceless artwork. The architecture of the chapels resembles a Romanesque basilica. The shape is that of a Latin cross with the nave, transepts, sanctuary, and apse completely surrounded by two-storied side aisles. The lofty vaultings, numerous arches, and massive columns are constructed of concrete and plaster and have been finished to resemble Norwegian marble. 19 different processes were used to bring out the beautiful Norway marble effect. These pillars are Corinthian in style, topped with praying angels wreathed in acanthus leaves. These are just a few of more than 160 angels depicted throughout the chapel, appropriately named Mary of the Angels. The chapel shares its name with the first little shrine in Assisi, Italy, which was so dear to St. Francis. Rich in symbolism, unity, and detail, it would seem that every touch of artist's brush, every stroke of sculptor's chisel, expresses in some tangible way one of the mysteries of our holy faith. On entering Mary of the Angels Chapel, One's attention is drawn to the pews, hand-carved of red oak native to this region, and to the large painting in the sanctuary. Here we see St. Francis favored with a vision of Jesus and the Blessed Mother. Immediately below the painting, our attention is drawn to the facade of the altar, containing medallions which portray symbols of the four evangelists and the Paschal Lamb. The two side paintings depict St. Clair of Assisi, King Louis of France, and Queen Elizabeth of Hungary, who were among the first followers of the Franciscan way of life. The painting to the left of the sanctuary is a representation of St. Margaret Mary, beholding an apparition of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The painting to the right is a depiction of Gabriel, announcing to Mary that she is to be the mother of Jesus. The altars are built of marble quarried in Italy. They are decorated with gold bronze, onyx pillars, and inlaid mosaics of green and gold Venetian glass and mother of pearl. Mosaics on the front altar feature symbols of the Eucharist. The central medallion represents the high priest Melchizedek offering bread and wine. The side altars are of a similar order. The main altar of sacrifice and wooden sanctuary furnishings were installed in 1992. Stations of the cross are placed along the wall just above the double windows of the nave and under the gallery, designed expressly for Mary of the Angels Chapel. The bronzed carved beechwood units portray the passion, death, and burial of Jesus. Mary of the Angels and Perpetual Adoration Chapels feature more than 100 windows of Bavarian stained glass designed by the Royal Bavarian Art Institute of Munich, Germany. 
The windows depict the life of Jesus and Mary, Bible parables, Franciscan history, and angels holding instruments of the passion and death of Jesus. Symbols of the three theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity are found in the center of the three rose windows above the transepts and behind the organ. Rising 91 feet above the floor is the octagonal-shaped dome, which features Bavarian stained-glass windows. At night, the towers that surround the dome are lit, representing our commitment to prayer. Lining the gallery are 10 large single-panel windows, eight representing outstanding, valiant women of the Franciscan order who are known for the holiness of their lives. Two represent the early ministry of the congregation, that of teaching and caring for the sick. The major prophets of the Hebrew scriptures, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel, watch over the chapel from elevated posts below the central dome. Saints Peter and Paul and the Latin fathers of the church, Saints Jerome, Ambrose, Augustine, and Gregory the Great grace the sanctuary area. These bronze statues were designed and created specifically for Mary of the Angels Chapel. No reproductions exist. The gallery connects the two chapels and choir loft, a Casavant pipe organ with its 1,422 pipes, 20 stops, 30 ranks, Tracker action and separate swell and great cases serves our worshiping community. Directly adjacent to Mary of the Angels is the Perpetual Adoration Chapel, also known as the Sacred Heart Chapel. This is where our community offers round-the-clock prayer. Since August 1, 1878, day and night, at least two persons have represented the community in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. Keeping vigil and praying for our community, the city of La Crosse, the church, and the world. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Eucharistic heart of Jesus, furnace of divine love, grant peace to the world. A unique feature of the altar in the Perpetual Adoration Chapel is the ability to turn the platform holding the cross-shaped monstrance into Mary of the Angels Chapel. The monstrance holds the bread consecrated at Mass to become the real presence of the body of Christ. Harmonizing with the architectural scheme of the chapel, the Adoration Altar is Romanesque in design. While more ornate, it complements the altar in Mary of the Angels Chapel. Here, however, the gold bronzes are brighter and richer, the mosaics more exquisite, and the symbols fewer and more elegant than those in the larger chapel. Flanking each side of this altar is a smaller arch, displaying the symbolic Alpha and Omega. These first and last letters of the Greek alphabet signify that God is the beginning and end of all things. Three beautifully carved marble panels, symbolic of the mysteries of faith, are seen on the frontals below the altar table. The central panel represents the contents of the Ark of the Covenant, namely the tables of the law, the rod of Aaron, and a vessel containing manna. Two of the cherubim are also represented here, as if guarding the sacred treasures. To the right is a representation of the words of the psalmist, as the deer longs for streams of water, so my soul longs for you, O God. To the left is the symbol of the doves at the fountain springing from the rock, which is Christ. It expresses a longing for God, or the longing of the Christian for the Eucharistic bread. 
Paintings in the Perpetual Adoration Chapel represent the mystery of the Blessed Trinity and saints devoted to the Eucharist. Angels play a dominant role in the main painting and throughout the chapel. Praying angels of Carrara marble kneel at the base of the sanctuary. The presence of angels continues in the ten windows in the Adoration Chapel. Mary, Queen of Angels, serves as the central figure, surrounded by the nine choirs of angels in the other nine windows. A look to the heavens completes the celestial tone of the Adoration Chapel. The ribbed, vaulted ceiling has a blue background spangled with stars, drawing attention to the heavens. Thank you for your interest in our Adoration Chapel and Mary of the Angels Chapel as sacred spaces for prayer and worship. Both continue to represent yearning for communion with God, the vision of our founders, and the physical and spiritual heart that unites our members in ongoing prayer. We seek to be perpetual adorers of our Creator in the Blessed Sacrament and in our life as vowed Franciscan women.